So yesterday we started getting a few bits of steel ready to make some gates and some panels, posts and so on to go in the new shed. Um, just the hinges I've got don't have a hole in the top, so I'm just going to um, drill a hole in the top of each of them so we can put a pin through to stop the pigs lifting the gates because they can be a bit playful at points. little bit slow progress because it's been forged so it's quite hard but there we are. Just run a grinder over it and um, to get the burrs off and then it's a bit oversized but when it gets galvanized it'll get this hole will get a little bit smaller um, so yeah we'll weld this onto a post later on. So I'm not the best of welders, but I kind of get the job done. Um, so I'm just tacking the sides on with the magnet to hold it square, pull the magnet off and I'll weld the top and the bottom then, do the next hinge. See, it's not amazing, but it's okay. Again today, I'm just going to um, make a gate, possibly two. Um, I'm not going to spend ages on it, to be honest. I've got other things to do. I'm just trying to chip away a little bit and um, get a little bit of metal work done each day. Um, I'll show you this. So I've just got some box section, like the outside frame or the gate on the floor um, so I spent a bit of time getting it squared up and put a magnet in each corner to hold it in place I haven't really got a particularly level floor but it's okay um, yeah so anyway uh, so I've drilled hinge holes already it's easier to do it when it's on the bench than it is um, once it's um, welded together I don't know if you can see We've also got vent holes for it, so we're going to galvanise it rather than paint it. So I've put, um, I think it's a 7mm hole I think I've put in at the end of each piece of box section that's not going to be left open. So obviously I haven't done, um, I haven't done the ends because they're open top and bottom. Um, but I have done all of the bits of box section that are going to be welded in. That kind of includes... Um, this little pile of stuff, um, which are going to be the, the infill bars, so I've done top and bottom of those because they're going to be welded at both ends. Hope that makes sense. I'll just stick them together now. So you can see I've just kind of tapped the ends on. Um, yeah, so drop the lift and fill bars in now and I'll tack them on and then we'll weld it properly. I'll turn it over and weld it properly. So I've just tapped the um, kind of middle bars in and then I realised I hadn't touched the steel for the kind of catch bracket so I've just um, 
I've just made this. A few holes for the boat and stuff in it. I'm basically just going to um, stick it in there. You can see there's a hole that can fill line up. Kind of like a welded in bolt catch just because it seems to uh, hold up to the pigs playing a bit better. Um, I don't end up losing random springs and stuff in the mud or whatever, uh, which is slightly easier for me. Um, so yeah, just weld this in now. And I'll flip it over and weld the hole on the other side properly. So I've just welded that on the one side. I will just flip it over and put it up on some blocks or something um, so I can weld down these kind of bits, which will fill out the kind of middles. Um, this will end up burning the concrete too much. Um, yeah. So the welding gas just ran out and I had to pop to come oven to get a bottle. So, oh, I got some pig food at the same time as well, which wasn't too bad. Um, so I've stopped renting bottles and I've actually bought one and then you just go and get a refill now. I used to have air products, bottles, um, the rental's kind of extortionate on it really. So just using this company now. Um, yeah, so just break the plastic off and then put the regulator back on down there, which is kind of seen better days, but um, I've got my junk. So we've got the regulator back on, turn the gas on, carry on. So it's all together now, you can see it's a bit difficult in here, it's not very big. Just like lean back a bit and just like get it in. Um, you can see there's a, a frame on the top corner over there where a catch would go if it was going to be a single gate. It's going to be a pair of gates, so I think I'll put the catch on the other one. Um, but I've made that, I don't really, didn't really need to, but I've made it in case I ever want to make it into a single gate in the future. Um, so it's there really. Um, so obviously massive gaps, but we're going to sheet it. Um, probably just a 1.2 or a 1.6 mil thick galve sheet on it. Um, once this has obviously been galvanised, then we'll just either screw it on or rivet it on. It'll make it a bit harder for them to climb, hopefully, so it'll be smooth. Um, like to keep them where we put them in an ideal world. So we've stuck the second part of the pair together, and this one's obviously got a catch. Um, so we've gone with, because I've obviously welded it in and we're going to galvanise it. I've got quite a loose fit, there's a 22 mil hole. And normally I put a 20 mil bar in the past, which is okay, although the last batch of gates I did one of them got jammed so I put a 16 mil bar and a 22 mil hole which should give plenty of clearance um, so you can see it obviously that's fully shut and then we'll have a tab on the back which will mean um, it won't be able to slide back so it'll bolt onto the top hole and then I've got another hole here should I ever want to put a little padlock on it so it'd have to be a we call it a long hasp or something but you know one of the the big loop ones um i don't think we will but you never know we have had a few things stolen to be honest in the past so many small pools and stuff um but still it might be worth putting a padlock on it at some point so i thought i might as well make it so i could um so yeah then it obviously slides to the open position it's kind of flat so it doesn't, doesn't stick out if we're walking by it or whatever I've put this board on the end of it. It's a bit easier to grip when you've got cold hands. You can just do straight bits of bar, and to be honest, they're really hard to hold. And these were like, these were about 70 or 80 pence. Um, so I bought a few, and um, yeah, just makes it a bit easier. So we've just about managed to patch a hurdle together out of some skanky bits of scrap, really. Um, there's three or three, four, no, three bits of mesh. And I'm together, struggling a bit while well, next is 
quite thin and quite rusty because it's been outside because they're off the pits. Um, not exactly overwhelmed with space. Um, but yeah, I've just about managed to do a half decent job. Gone for upright bars again, like the gates. Um, just on a thinner bit of box section, so it's a bit lighter. But it should be alright for um, a couple of young pigs or something. Um, maybe some lambs or mon molly lambs or something in the spring. But yeah. I'm just bringing some sheep to today with the transit. Um, see, I've had them for quite a while, so obviously it's been an ongoing project for quite a while. Got some bond profile stuff and some corrugated stuff. So I'll just put them down somewhere near near ish. And then we'll be ready to clap the shed in the next. Well, days and weeks, I guess.